Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a video on how to create uh, expenses using Basecoin. Um, so um, with, with Basecoin there is a, a separate app um, which is called Spencer. Um, and, and with this app you can take pictures of receipts and, and uh, file and create expense claim forms over, over a period and then submit them. Um, so to do that um, you would need to download uh, the app here, uh, Basecoin Spencer. Um, it's free on the App Store um, and when you uh, log into that app, okay, I've already logged in this morning so there is face ID activated, hopefully you'll recognize your face or you have to set a pin. Um, and once you are into the uh, application, actually how it will load, it will load on, on this screen, okay. and. You can, if you have different companies, you can see here on the fascia that you can select and move to a different uh, company depending on your access. Um, and you can also uh, look at items that are pending. Um, so these are two expense claims I've already got set up. Um, you can look at historic archive of, of things that you have filed uh, and, and potentially remove things. And you can also enter various settings. Okay. Um, just for, for some of the settings, I'm just going to change one now um, to, to tell the, the app that all of my uh, um, expense claims are going to be in GBP. So you can see that I isolated that in the currency setting. And there are lots of other um, settings that you can create in here. For example, you might always want to say that when you're taking pictures, you want it to be filed away as a purchase invoice because that's how expenses uh, are, are posted using Basecoin and you can fill in all your details as well so um, it's often useful for your processor if you put things in like your name um, and you could put in your your bank details etc um, so that they if they do not have them can uh, pay you <laughs> most importantly so uh, I'm just going to fill some of these in um, and there are other things that you could fill in but I'm going to stick at that for now and go back to the home page. Okay. When you want to uh, type something in or, or put in something, a receipt, you can click on the plus. Okay. Uh, from here, you can select various options PDF um, if you've got it saved down somewhere on uh, Google in your phone or something like that, an existing photo, or you can select your camera. Okay. At the moment, um, this is looking at me, so I need to switch that around somehow. Or actually it's a reflection of me so I'm going to ignore it so um, this is a receipt that I've got ready I'm just going to snap that okay and base going tries to help you um, by suggesting the size of the receipt but you can adjust it by playing with these little tags and then you just say use the selection okay you can do multiple receipts at one time so in the same way I'm just going to grab something else here okay uh, just a, a train ticket as you can see just going to snap that again it's trying to be helpful just going to mess around with that a little bit and use selection and when you're done you can see here it says at the bottom right it says done too right so i'm going to click done okay now what it's now doing is it's uh, telling me that i've got two items unassigned which you can see at the at the top left there right and this means that i basically have to assign them so if I click on one, it will ask me to, to give a name. Um, I can check which image I'm on by clicking on this image icon in the top right, and it shows me that it's the train ticket. So I'm going to say, right, okay, this is the train ticket um, to London. Okay, and I can select my payment method. And you can see here, it says credit card or private payment or, or business. I'm going to say private payment. I'm going to, I've got some existing expense claims I could add it to so or I could create a new one so in this instance I'm going to add it to my existing one okay it's remembered the currency I then just put in the amount which is 3370 and select my category which is travel and then I can change the date if I want or I just click save okay and if I now go into that item has now become assigned and if I go into my personal expenses for April, you can see the item at the top alongside other ones. And I can also click into it to see the details and click on the image to go into it if I wish. Okay. So that's 
now been assigned. I can go back to my unassigned by flicking over to that top tab on the left, clicking on the item, giving it a name. So this is entertainment in this instance. Payment method, I'm going to say that it is a credit card. Okay. So in this instance, I go move down and go expense claim. I'm going to create a new one. So this is actually my credit card for April 21. I'll go create. Okay, and that has created a new expense claim that I could then add things to in the future. Okay, I'm going to put in the amount, select my category. I've got client or staff entertainment. I'm going to say client entertainment. And again, I click save. Right? And here you can see I've got a new expense claim in my list. Everything has been assigned. And when I'm basically done um, at the end of the month, when I get to the end of April or March, it has gone. So in theory, I could send that. I can click into it. And at the top, there's a send button. The moment that I press that send button, it will be sent it into the Basecoin desktop application where it can be allocated to an authorizer and go through the authorization channels within Basecoin. So that is how to build up and submit expense claims in Basecoin. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know.